Hi babes, welcome to I'm H.O. In my homosexual opinion, I'm Auntie Jan. I'm Darby Babes. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P today stands for performative sleeve. In it. Oh, I don't say in it. I'm much more proper. What do you say instead? Tally-ho. Today we're talking about RuPaul's Drag Race Season 2, Episode 3, Who Wore It Best? UK. It's wonderful to be back. Ladies, I oh got Every time I wear any sort of censure, all I do is burp. Mm -hmm. All I do is burp, 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 no matter what. That's all Got bubbles spot. in my stomach and I'm about to throw up. <laughs> Before we do Perfect. that, how is everyone? UK. It's been a couple. <laughs> you can't. Wait a minute. Wait, too early. How's your week? Wait, sorry. What? You still have lipstick on your teeth, and I think you're cut off a little bit. Oh. oh. Look at that producer eye. Today, I like, if I have lipstick on my teeth, or if my sideburns pop out of my wig, that's just the energy we're going for. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. You gotta be yourself mm -hmm. first. Yes. And, in, and then if you want to be somebody else, do drag. So how was y'all's week, since I haven't seen y'all? It feels like a light week because... Since last week we were talking about the Chicago Drag Excellence video, <gasps> I'm waiting for something monumental to happen. Like, I'm like, mm -hmm. well, what, what now? What's the thing? Oh, I was in a video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a really good week. I feel like we kind of lived I'm on still the high riding that wave. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And the behind the scenes photos by Gracie were so cute. Oh. Uh. For those of you who didn't see them, they, some of them are on our social media, mm -hmm. but we yeah. sent all of them to Patreon so mm -hmm. our patrons can see, but Ooh. they're so cute. They're so cute, and it's fun. It was fun being on like a professional set with my sister. No, oh, kiki, 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 kiki. I actually, I had a DM this week from somebody in Houston, Texas. Oh, okay. heard of it. He messaged me to say that we cheer him up, and he was so happy to find mm. us. And he likes oh. to watch it with his mom, Allison. <gasps> Allison. Allison, hi. Mm -hmm. God, what was his name? All I remember is that he was six three. That's all I need. Mean. Well, if her name was Allison, and he is her son, we can still say Alice son. Son, Alice son, son. Do you Alice want to know the son. preferred beverage of Houston? Yeah. Do you know what lean is? Lean. Lean. It's cough syrup with Sprite, and when you drink it, <laughs> when you drink it, you you lean because that cough syrup gets to you. It's called lean. I dated a gentleman once who introduced me to Coca Cola and red wine. I love Coca-Cola mm. and red wine. They do that in France. That's and they good. do and he said they do that in Romania. They do that in Romania. You know what's so fucked up is that have you ever seen like when there's build up on your car battery, you can take Coca-Cola and it'll like eat away the the build up on the battery. Oh, shit. And we still put that in our body. Yeah. I've actually transitioned to Diet Cokes. Did you do anything this week that lifted your I spirit? have taken um I have I've taken control of my body. I want <gasps> What was that? <laughs> that wasn't. Oh, it was, was like that. And then oh, like that. it was from the can. I was like, I was like was that you took mine? control of your body, and I am wet. <laughs> and then you just squirt. Yeah. Ah. Look in there. I took control of my body. Squirt, Look. Squirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I've, I've been running rich. a couple of times. I enjoy running. I just mm. don't remember to do it. Mm -hmm. It's like water. I enjoy doing it, drinking it. I feel good when I do it, but I never remember. But when you taste a little soda, you're like, mm, water don't taste that good. I haven't drank any water in three mm. weeks. This week, Kristen sent me a gallon water jug that counts down by the hour where you should be in the day. Ooh. I want one of those. Yeah, but it starts at 7 a.m. Like, I'm not a doctor. I'm asleep. So I don't start till noon. So I'm already six hours, seven hours, five hours behind. And today, <coughs> it's been a bit. Sorry, it keeps squirting. It's going to be wet. <laughs> but today, I had a very busy day. I got a little behind. So it is, what, 10 30 p.m.? I'm at 11 a.m. still. Well, you're five hours ahead in terms of your life versus that bottle. So it's what right now? 11 o'clock on that bottle? Mm hmm. You, and then it's supposed, you're supposed to be at 4 p.m. So you got to drink how many hours worth of water? I'm supposed to be at 4 Six hours of water. Yeah. Because you said he, so the bottle the starts at 7, but you don't start oh. till you, you don't start your day till noon. Depends, but yeah. You so, you know, you can adjust that clock. You can oh. wear some Depends and then drink all the water, and then you can just pee. Oh, and then, like, that astronaut lady that drove across country in diapers to, like, murder her boyfriend's wife. I think you bring that up once a week. What, the astronaut lady who drove across country wearing a diaper? Yeah. Why wouldn't you this bring that up? This is the first time I'm hearing about it. Okay, 
this woman, and I can't remember the exact details. Either she was the mistress or there was another mistress. Anyway, she was an astronaut. She got in her car in Florida and drove across the country wearing diapers so she wouldn't have to stop to pee. And then like she murdered someone. Ugh. Wearing a diaper. So much pee. Speaking of pee. Speaking of pee. Drive Race UK. Oh, here we go. Well, they pee over there. They just pee upside down. They pee the down. upside down, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Episode three, Cherry Valentine has gone home, which is sad. Boo. Still oh, why would they do that? Every single person they've sent home, I'm just like, yeah. this episode included, I was just like, what? Ha Hello? They're having their little post-elimination powwow. They are kind of checking in with each other. Veronica Green, who won last mm -hmm. episode, she says, I'm glad I spoke up for what I wanted and I'm gonna continue to do that. And you know, that's true because a greasy, a squeaky wheel falls off, gets cast in grease or goes to grease, whatever. You're supposed to ask for what you want. Oh. Like, like. What do you want? I want money. Oh. Okay. I, I am each other so, show on Venmo. Let me see. That is worth 34 cents in the States. Oh. Look at, there's still some hair on well, it that, too. So this is from the per, the previous owner. Um, it has to stay with the necklace that's broken or she'll haunt you. Okay, let me put it on. It's broken. Let's go to the mini challenge. This is this was kind of a fun one. It was the Notting Hill Carnival Limbo for Your Life. Oh, that was fun. With special guest DJ Jody Harsh. Jody Harsh is an iconic drag queen. For her bangs. You know what's really funny to me is that they did probably have to film that without music, right? So that we can hear them talking and they can quick cut to the different, right? Was Jody Harsh brought in and then they're like, we'll put the music over top. So she's just in silence going. True. <gasps> right? She probably wasn't playing music or if she was, it was really low. Yeah. This is me, oh. <laughs> or she was, oh no, you're right. Yeah. Wow, I did not think of that. It's the first thing I thought of. I was like, what's the DJ This can't work. There? This is not real. Yeah. They're, wait a minute, they're not even ladies. She's you don't have to be so harsh about it. That's her name. Oh wait, I forgot to say, they have 15 minutes to get into quick drag. I loved Lawrence Cheney. I thought Lawrence Cheney looked gorgeous. So funny. Oh, that, Lawrence that Cheney. That's a regular drag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ginny Lemon just walked under the, fir <laughs> under the limbo. Walking, yeah. yeah. Um, well, lemons are short. Lawrence Cheney tried to go under the limbo stick, but she touched it with her Lawrence Cheney. It ended up being between Veronica and Taysom. Veronica had that big head plume, so that was very impressive. They both, however, they both fell. At that the was end. crazy, though. That got low. Yeah. That got really low. Yeah. Are y'all good at? Have y'all gone under stuff? Have you ever been under something? The weather. Yeah. Under pressure. Under pressure. <gasps> oh. How diamonds are made. Under what's it? <laughs> Conspiracy. <laughs> Under investigation? Uh, under you investigation. Have, you have. Uh, 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 no, but did you see actually Veronica was like on the insides of her feet? Yes, it was taste. Yeah, they like bent. They were, yeah. Yeah. That was insane. What's wrong with them? I mean, that was cool. I think it was Tia. Ellie Diamond was going and she wasn't wearing tights and she was like, am I about to see a bollock? Oh, okay. Which is UK for ball. Ellie needed to cover her. Actually, no. Be proud of your be body, Be proud of the Ellie. balls. Be very yeah. proud because you know what? Bollock positivity. Yep. <laughs> did I ever tell you about the time that a friend of my brother's in college that I did want to see his balls, but I didn't get to see it, but my brother saw that part of his intestine or something fell into his scrotum. So it looked the like hernisha. three balls. <gasps> Ew. I because mean, it was like so much intestine. I think it was intestine. Oh. You know what the doctor did to fix it? Shove it in. Mm -hmm. Shoved it up with his finger. That's Just how you do it. Just shoved it in with his finger. I know someone who got their testicles twisted amongst each other. You know what? Don't get your balls in a twist. Okay. Talk about Notting Hill. Those balls were knotted, honey. See, if I see balls, they have to be together. I have to see both balls. If I just see one, that's goofy. I, I'll fun. laugh. I'll yeah. laugh. But, but if you I see, see balls, like, it changes. I the dated. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> the tension has. You're changed. so crazy. That's so funny. <gasps> Wait a minute. Are those filled with what I think they're filled with? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know what they do. Veronica taste lasted the longest, so they get to choose the group yeah. for oh. the main, huh? Rue yeah. informs them that they're doing a design challenge and they're doing a who wore it best. So pair up with mm -hmm. your friends. They pair up with their besties. Mm -hmm. And you. then Taste and Veronica get to assign the boxes to everyone and each pairing gets based on color. No, the twist. 
Do you want to say what the twist is? <laughs> Before we get to the twist, Veronica could have picked any Anyone. box. Does she pick green? Okay, I had the same mm, thought, yeah, but guess what her name is? Veronica Green. green. Ah, I had the same thought, and I watched the whole entire episode, and not until they said her name when she was on the runway was I like, oh yeah, that makes oh, sense. Okay, never mind, take it back. I mean, still, if I was your partner, I'd be like, God damn it. No, I have it written down, that exact thing. Okay, so they pair up. Was the orange an orange? Like, was it a color? Or did they name the fruit orange? Like, what came first, the color or the fruit? <gasps> oh. Think. Uh oh. So they team up, but then they realize they're not teaming up together. They're teaming up to compete with each other. Mm -hmm. Sister Sister and Ginny Lemon, I have given them the nickname Sis Jen Tur. Mm -hmm. um, Taste and Ahora, or Tehora. Veronica Green and Tia Coffee, I give them the nickname Green Tia. And then Astina and Bimini, or Ass Boulash. Oh! Ass Boulash. I had that one. I like that one. And then hurt. Lawrence Cheney and Ellie Diamond, I give them the nickname Great Scots. Veronica gets to choose first, and she picks green, which, as you said, and Tia said, that's Michelle's, Michelle's number one identifier. Pick. Yeah. You be Michelle, and I'll be green. Okay. Hey! I hate you! You? That's so personal. <laughs> It jumped. <laughs> <laughs> this necklace is cursed. Yeah, we're gonna put that, that that's that's that. Sister, sister, and Jenny Lemon. Veronica picks pink for them. Yeah. They're setting themselves up. Like, why would you not take pink? I don't know. I really like. Why pink. would you not take pink? Yeah, I would have taken gold or black. I yeah. think. Uh, mm -hmm. Tace chooses black for Tace and Ahura. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is. Well, that's a good choice. Yeah, that's fashion. Taste chooses blue for Astina and Bemini. Uh huh. And they're fine with it. They're cool. Yeah. Blue's, Blue's a good a color. Blue's a, great a beautiful color. color. Yeah. He was like pink or blue, pink or blue, and then it's blue, so you know that their baby has a penis. Ah. Uh. And a forest is on fire. Well, yeah, there is a uh, there's mm, a giant forest a fire. Mm -hmm. And then the only one that's left is gold. So Lawrence Cheney and Ellie Diamond. Ellie Diamond. Go for the gold. Mm -hmm. Looking at that, I thought it was brown. I thought it was a brown box. I thought they were waiting for that. Oh, really? I thought it was a brown oh, box. Oh, because it wasn't it was like shiny. Box. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love a brown dress. Yes, I love a, I love a nude. Oh, I'm wearing a brown turtleneck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you make that? I did. I had some brown left. You made this? You made the turtleneck. This looks store-bought. Thank you. Yeah. Like I was looking at the collar. I Thank you. I wanted to do this like kind of 60s mod like pinafore dress and I was like I want a turtleneck under it and I thought I had this brown. Nice. Thank so you. So talented. You would kill Drag Race. You're the total package. You would kill them. Y'all stop. You would no, no. You would. No, no, you would I'm more would worried that them. you would actually murder them. Well, yeah. Well, because I would do a, I would do a pink or blue and then I would light the forest on fire. Oh yeah, that's true. The Drag Race forest. The Drag Race forest. They do stay in forests now. Yeah. Because of COVID. <laughs> yeah. So up next we have Rue walking about the workroom, you know, doing her thing, getting inside their itty bitty little heads, mm -hmm. shooting up their spirit, doing her thing. We have Jenny Lemon talking about her identity, about never feeling like identifying as a man, feeling empowered as a woman, non-binary tees. Lovely conversation. She shared a moment with Bimini Boo Lash. Love that. What y'all think? Yeah, it, it was a really, it was a lot of, a lot of Jenny Lemon this episode. Mm -hmm. It was a I, good Jenny Lemon episode. Yeah, mm -hmm. and she says it later on. She says, I am find more success as a woman than I do a man. Mm -hmm. And just that kind of whole journey. And she even says, I don't love myself at all. And that's what drag is for me, like finding some form of love. Finding love herself. through yeah. this process. Because she said she's been just beaten over the head with, I'm not good enough. And I'm not this and I'm not that. She needs a good friend. That's really sad. Mm -hmm. She... We'll you are good enough. I didn't say me. She didn't say she. Oh, oh. Sorry, Miss Red. Your charity <laughs> hand. <laughs> then we get the tea on like Ellie. Di I didn't know that she was working at a drive-through to make the <gasps> ends meet. Ellie. Well, you God. better. Well, she. How much did they make as drag queens in Scotland? Fifteen dollars for a guest spot. Fifteen, 15 euros. pounds. Pounds. Fifteen pounds for a guest spot, and then. Pounds. I mean, drag is so expensive. Mm -hmm. Fifteen little queens. Drag artists should be paid more yeah. in general. For real. And get this, when they win more the show... More than teachers. When they win this show, they get to make a web series. Do you think oh, they get yeah. paid for the web series, though? I don't know. Well, I think that's why they come over to Hollywood to do it, so they can't oh. get paid. At least I'm hoping. Oh, yeah, I yeah, hope yeah, so. Yeah. Or just so that they can see the Hollywood sign. Be like, look. You know what? You could you could live in that. The girls need to get into cryptocurrency. Get that, that Bitcoin. 
You like bits? Here's a coin. Up next we had the Tehora thing. Oh, oh Lawrence the tea was Lawrence uh, Cheney built. Lawrence Cheney. Lawrence Cheney Weenie. <laughs> Lawrence Cheney Weenie. Spills the tea yeah. to RuPaul. <laughs> like, immediately. Like, Ru's like, so, like, everybody's just, the, the, the dynamics are good, like, everything's good. And she's like, oh, well, no. Taste in the horror. <gasps> Was that good? That was great. Yeah. Taste in the horror. Hot. It did give us one of the, <laughs> the best lines of the episode from Taste, which is, the cheek, the nerve, the gall. What is it? The cheek, the nerve, the gall, the gumption. The cheek, the nerve, the gall, the audacity. The audacity. And the gumption. That's a lot of things. The cheek, the nerve, the, nerve. the gall, the audacity, and the gumption. And that's on tape. That was good. That was funny. Mm -hmm. It was, it was, it was a lot of words. Mm -hmm. it was so is, many words. Tastes yeah. beautiful and funny. Up next, they had the twist reveal. <gasps> um, your partner. It's also your foe. Whoever isn't the winner is the loser and it's up for elimination. Taze says no Versi Percy's up in here. You're either a top or a bottom. Versi Percy. Versi Percy. Oh, that's new to I've me. never believed a versatile person with that, but I will. Yeah, it's really hard to believe. Well, you're a Versi Percy. You have an open mind to all sexual position. Percy Percy. Percy, but you don't know what yeah, you Percy pick Percy. a side. Tia Coffee mm -hmm. is not a seamstress. She's actually being really charming about it. She's like, you know in the episode when they can't sew and you're like, why can't you sew? This show's been on five years or whatever. And That's, then she called herself out. Yeah. I, we've heard that line a lot though, right? Like I feel like that happens every couple seasons. Someone will be like, I can't believe it. I'm always the one yelling at the TV and now here I am. I'm being yelled at on the TV. Right? The self-awareness. You know what I heard? Yeah, uh -huh. Was it you who told me that Veronica Green learned to sew once she got the call? Like she taught herself I don't think that a was few me. things? I heard a she rumor. She might have said that. No, but the scene stressed seemed stressed. Oh! I play your game sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, we move it to the next day. It is elimination day. Somebody has got to go home. They're mm -hmm. just not good enough. They never will be. That's what Rue says before every runway. That's, it's real weird. Mm -hmm. Everyone is still finishing up their garments. They want it to look the best it possibly can. Uh -huh. One person is not. Astina. Mm -hmm. She's like, done and done. Uh -oh. Which was great foreshadowing. I mm -hmm. love I love an uncut shadow. Okay. Ooh. Okay, oh. connection. You know, her streetwear, and you know, we've said a lot, like I worry about her not taking it there, like being too simple. And that's what she did here. She made yeah. a streetwear skate outfit, skatewear. Tony Hawk. It comes back to bite her and her mm -hmm. beautiful ass. Yeah. Oh. Then of course we get the Jenny storyline of she's ready to be sexy. She's gonna be mm -hmm. sexy. So mm -hmm. she slaps those titties on. Lawrence Cheney is not turned on by that. <laughs> but I think you need to open your mind, Miss Cheney. We're gonna get you to titty fuck Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> what about the most iconic like screen grab of her just standing there with her breastplate on looking for titties? Yeah. Oh yeah. Ahead. <laughs> Lauren right. says she looks like a Blow up doll with Google eyes. <laughs> Jenny's feeling herself and do it, bitch. Do it's it. important to take risks. What is a vibe that you would be scared to do? A vibe that I would be scared to do. A victim. Yeah, you don't ever want to play the victim. No, I well, because I prefer to create victims. <laughs> I think we all are victims in your presence. Yeah. <laughs> like a like a drag box that we'd be yeah. afraid to, or a trope that we'd... Yeah. Hmm. I guess body, or like body. Like body, like naked and sexy. Oh, yeah. <gasps> you have a beautiful body. I saw it on a cruise ship. Thank you. Before we head into the runway, we do get a little story from Ahura about how she feels like she's too fashion to be in drag and she's too drag to be fashion. Yeah, she said oh, she had been blacklisted from blacklisted. fashion, from working with designers. Like she... communism. You know, the or Calm de Garçon. Yeah. Calm Cuss Cuss. Take times. it down here and step it up there. Mm -hmm. Don't blame it on the I, community. Fashion and drag have been... This. I've seen the girls in fashion shows. What are you talking about? Right. She's talking about it on their, in where they have fashion shows. Ow. Wimbledon? Wimbledon? Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Did y'all see Simone in that ad campaign with Lil Nas X? <gasps> Call one. Oh, one. yes. Whoa. Isn't, Isn't it so cool? Gorgeous. But the queens are in the... 
I love Queens it. in the fashion, and like I they're on what it. episode four? Yeah, and she's already doing like fashion campaigns. Big collabs. I know. Get out of here. Stunning. So then we head into the runway. Of course, first and foremost, we see Miss RuPaul <gasps> in the ruffle. She's mm -hmm. got the legs out, which I, I think I said last season. I, she likes to show her legs in the UK. Mm -hmm. She likes to let them out. Yeah, she likes to let them breathe. Mm -hmm. Was well, not as hot over there. Well, they don't have sun. The sun mm -hmm. had never comes to them. Yeah. She looks like she smells good. She's, she looks like she uses a natural deodorant, though. Yeah. Uh, you know? Like, she's, like, doing yoga with a stone, and she just keeps wiping <laughs> with it. Yoga with a <laughs> stone? The wiping stone with a stone? You wiping. smell like rock, girl. What is that? Is that, is that igneous? Then we go to our judges, of course. We have Michelle. She was looking gorgeous in her little leopard print. Miss Shania Twain. Mm -hmm. Shania Twain, very. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shania Twain. Mm -hmm. Well, but... Michelle didn't vote for Trump. What was yeah. Graham wearing? Graham was just wearing a, a, little wearing a suit. suit. Yeah, Graham was in a Graham suit. Graham was there. And then, of course, we had Jordan Dunn in that amazing, like, stick. What palm fronds? I what don't was know. that? It was really cool. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. She it was art. Stunning. She, who is she? She's a British model. Yeah. She was discovered in Hammersmith Primark in 2006, she where she stormed. Discovered in a Primark? <gasps> okay. She's she six, six she, feet tall. Yeah, she's tall. Well, she talked about that on the oh, show. She's got that a child. It took her a while to get into her body, Being like, tall. to feel confident in her body as well. <gasps> when she's talking to Jenny, remember? I like her. I mean, I mean, you know what? She wasn't afraid to get a pun in there. She was a very good judge. Yeah. That was a good guest judge. Very diplomatic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Again, if you want to send any British person over here, we will give you James Corden. So if you want to send her yeah. over, oh, God. we'll send James Corden. I just want them to know that it's still on the table. As the bonus, take Lynn. Take Lynn Manuel. <laughs> Well, I Miranda. just think it's fun to bully him. <laughs> I can't bully one celebrity. You can. You uh, can. But you know what? I choose Lynn. <laughs> I already made my decision. It's Lynn. Who would you bully? Go. You know, I I wouldn't I would never feel comfortable I bullying you. I don't have it in uh, my heart. I would do yeah. I am Sam Dakota Fanning. I would really bully that Get bitch. Get her. Oh, you trying to take care of your dad? Fuck a bitch. No, I would never say that to a child. Well, to a blonde white girl, I, I might. I might say that. Don't let me. <gasps> Leave Michelle. Kids. I, I was never a bully. I was the bullied, and I think that it's just a cycle of hate that I should end. You're right. You're right. Take back that power. You're right. You, you might have been a bully all your life. <laughs> I think, I feel, I know. <laughs> no, I got. No, I didn't get bullied because they were all afraid of me. Because <laughs> I carried a knife mm. for protection. I went, <laughs> don't you do it. Don't you see that? Wrist? Don't you do it? Ah, ah. It's like Spider Man, but instead of this, it's like this, and your knife switches out. <laughs> oh, that's a fun superhero. That's funny. Uh. I love it. Can you can you do in An post? Edit. Can you do? Uh, can you make a knife shoot out? I could. Let's start with our our queen. So up first we had Taste. So it's Taste and Horror up first. They are in black. Mm -hmm. Taste came out with that coat. We see the horns again, mm -hmm. the dragon horns again. From behind, I said, "Ooh, not again so soon." But then when they turned around, they had changed it. They had added pins and they put it in a ponytail in the back. So mm -hmm. it was different enough, but it was still horns. Yeah, ornament. But I loved it. I loved the that they used the the little safety, safety pins. pins. Thank yeah. you. It looked sharp, it looked edgy, it looked cool. Fashion Very forward. fashion, it's fashion. Very, very taste, very now, very taste. It, it looked like they could have brought that with mm -hmm. and had mm -hmm. it made special. Yeah. Wait a minute, she's got good taste. She does have good she taste. She has very good taste. That's good taste. You she, get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, she she has, you know taste. I do it for you. Yeah! <laughs> Then we have Ahora. She was in that cat suit and that robe. <gasps> Puffy sleeves. She had a little that... beret. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She had a Now when she was talking to Rue in the workroom, she said, Oh, I'm gonna do like a cat suit and then like a puffy sleeve robe, and then I might do some shoes and a beret. And I was like, Are you over overselling? But no, she delivered. She did that. Mm -hmm. She looked gorgeous. She and the makeup with the hair. I've never thought Ahora had bad makeup, but tonight I said. Yeah. So out of the two, a horror did come out on top, but I personally preferred Taste's look. Me too. I was more towards a horror, but that's a very close call. Yes, there were two to very call. close calls. Up next, not at all a close call. Jenny in the pink tube dress with the yellow hair and shoes because mm -hmm. she had the big titties. It's her sexy moment. Mm -hmm. She put two strips of fabric over some big titties. Mm -hmm. and she said. 
I'm good. I'm good. Okay. And her shoes, you know, I'm I'm I love her spirit. Her I love her energy. Shoes, her, yeah. Oh, oh, I was talking about like the different, like a metaphorical, like yeah, oh, if I was in oh, her okay. shoes. Well, but those that, are your crops. That's, those, those are her little, mental. Crops. Um, like you know, fight song. This is your fight song. Like, please live your yeah. Love, mm -hmm. love yourself. When life gives you lemons. When life gives you lemons. Oh, show your butt. But I thought it was bad. Go. Yeah, it was bad. But I was so happy she tried something different. Point, points yeah. for trying, but yeah. not enough points to get you to win. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I try anything different if I ever got on TV. I don't know that that's the time I start exploring. I barely do that here. Mm -hmm. You know how I just like <laughs> affirm. Oh, I actually kind of like this one. Then we had sister, sister. She had the pantsuit with, of course, the performative sleeve. Performative yes. sleeve. And the rouging and. I liked it. And the face. I actually liked. I yeah. liked this too. I liked it was it a lot. It was really cool. Rouging? I don't even know how Give to do sister, that. Give sister, sister her props. Sister, Give sister. Give her, her props. Another pair of blue lips for ya. Yeah, I, I liked sister, sisters a lot. Mm -hmm. I did too. And I thought those sleeves were so performative. Then we had Veronica Green, our first green. Mm -hmm. She had that cape slit it like, a, like yeah it was really kind of 70s vibe mm -hmm. what is it about her it, she reminds me a little bit of Alyssa edwards her features i know we shouldn't compare but her features are a little she bit reminds like me Alyssa. of rick moranis so veronica looked great great no wait i didn't like it hang on veronica did okay okay <laughs> i think she did okay as well i liked the coloring yeah there's something about it i think it was the Exposed stomach and in. like something. Well, that made me jealous. Up next, we had Tia Coffee, our other green, and it was you wrote square skirt. Yes, yeah, <gasps> she wrote a circle skirt, but she didn't cut the circle part out. She just cut a hole in a piece of fabric. Oh. So no, I didn't like that. Overall, though, I didn't think it was that. I did. I no, not good. No. Not as horrible as some of the other things. It wasn't like the Derek Berry square fabric. There was at least like a shirt and a sleeve. There was a hem sleeve. here and a hem there. The wig was pretty. Yeah. I thought the wig was pretty. Yeah. I thought the makeup, Her makeup was, was pretty. pretty. She did that bow justice. And the way she is able to spin gold out of a bad look straw. Like when they're talking to her, she's like, you're right. I know it. And yeah. I'm going to make you laugh about it. That's a magical quality. That's what I feel like you kind of have to do in general on that show. When you get that storyline because nothing's real. If you make yourself the butt of the joke, like- You win. Right? You win, yeah. Except for Charlie Heights, because she, <sighs> she stayed in place, and it turns out that was a performance art piece, mm. and we just weren't in on it. About how still our society is sometimes. Mm -hmm. I see it now. And how still she can be if she doesn't move. <gasps> and think about it, makes it that you think. way. And how her, her rib got bru bruised. Really? My rib is bruised. <laughs> My <laughs> <laughs> That got me. <laughs> you got yourself. I did. You got yourself, girl. Okay, so let's move on. Estina. So we start the blue group. Estina comes out first. She's an anime figure skater. Yeah. She looks beautiful. Her mm -hmm. face, yeah. her face hair. Shut up. Damn. Legs. Just the legs. Know. Good. Good. Just a very simple outfit, so though. Good. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Rue was kind of like hesitant to tell her that like, mm, you're in trouble when she was in the workroom because you know how like the, the kids will come up to you and be like, I made you some how macaroni you? art. Oh. Mm -hmm. and, and then she looked at that drawing, she was like, oh, okay. What was that? Oh, okay. <laughs> but she looked beautiful. Unfortunate that she didn't spend a little more time. Yeah. It was very simple. Yeah. Yeah. Tis Which is gift good. To be simple, tis a gift to be free. Thank you. However, it, sh it should have been complicated. That is like a Natasha Bedingfield song right there. You should be ghostwriting for Thank her. Thank you. Um, That's my original simple. lyric. Tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift Bimini Bon Boulash had blue lace gown with matching fascinator. Oh, yeah. They had that, like, fascinator mm -hmm. that also kind of... Yeah, and then she uh, turned around the and it was lace and butt cheeks were out. I loved it. Yeah. Top the wig was right. And it was very vampy, dark. like yeah. kind of smoky eye I into the frothy her. blonde hair. I went, Initially, when she came out, I was like, Ooh, I don't know what's going on with the dress. But then when she really came out into the light, Carol Ann, I thought she looked... She looked... So good. Stunning. Yeah. yeah. Stunning. I great job, Emily. I was like, yeah, she's in the top. That was a, I'm not saying that because the comments were like, oh, why y'all not live? No, I live for Bimini. Okay. We love Bimini. I, we I just didn't understand yeah, yeah, yeah. why, why, 
We Why? didn't understand. Then we have our gold group, our final group. We have Ellie Diamond. Like a Leo kind of... Mm -hmm. Marie Antoinette vibe. Yeah. She mm -hmm. was going for... Um, I liked it a lot, actually. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did. I did. It was cute. My initial reaction is don't wear a Leo on the runway, but it looked good. Yeah, she put a lot of detail into it. The detail she was She married so the details with each yeah. other. She had something to... I think she did something to her boots, too. She added a layer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, she was just doing a lot. Genius. This, to me, was the tightest, like, who do you pick kind of group. <laughs> Because then we had Lawrence Cheney coming out. She also had some titties on. Her body was good. That was a good yeah, body. Yeah, yeah, She dresses so well, and she has such a good body. Mm -hmm. Well, and she paired opposite textures of the top and the bottom. Like, the bottom was that, like, heavy, kind of, like, sequiny kind of thing. And then the top was, like, a sheer. With the, mm -hmm. Like, it was just, it was so pretty. It was very madame. Hello. Yeah. Mother of the bride. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. like, sexy mother of the sexy. bride. Milk yeah, of the and bride. the hair was perfect, and the makeup was perfect. But out of these two, mm -hmm. Lawrence did end up winning. But who would you pick? I did not expect Lawrence to win this week. I thought Ellie was going to get the win, in my opinion, but. I loved what Lawrence was wearing, and I think it's brilliant, and I don't disagree with her win. Like, she definitely deserves it. Mm -hmm. But I think Ellie could have also deserved it. <laughs> like, yeah. I preferred Ellie's only because it was so detailed. I was surprised Same. that she made such a detailed, complicated-looking garment and didn't get as much. Mm -hmm. Well, she did get praise. She yeah. did. They loved her. Yeah, they loved her. It was she just did, like they yeah. had to decide one. You got very quiet. I'm having a I'm having an inner struggle of like I don't know which one I liked more because I'm thinking about what the judges say. Mm. I'm it's like I don't I don't know what I like anymore. Mm. Oh, who who are we? like? Do we even like ourselves? Well, no. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You like yourself. I don't yeah. you? I like myself. Yeah, I, I like, like me. Oh, I love I like I yourself. I like yourself. I like yourself. You should Thank like yourself. You. I'm working on it. If you don't like yourself, how in the hell are you going to like Red Lobster? Yum. Yum. They're going to use that in a commercial. <laughs> but we did the Red Robin. Red. Oh. <laughs> Red Lobster. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> but you said it in the, in the tune We of did it, yeah. Red Robin. That's fun. The queens go back to untuck while the judges de-librate. <clears throat> The kind of the vibe for the untucked is a whore is disappointed she didn't win. I would be too. I mm -hmm. thought she would have. I, that was a close call too. Mm -hmm. And she's mad at Tia Coffee. Tia Coffee's been here for, for a minute. Being Tia Coffee. Yeah. She Taking said that out she's her trying too hard. Taking out her frustration. That's the she desperate, she says. Yeah. Now, I want to say, I'll apologize. We didn't mention Tia Coffee's look last week, and that was my bad. I was about to say. That was my bad. Um, <sighs> however, it might have been for the best that we didn't, even though we yes. love Tia. I'm a Tia Coffee fan after this episode, just because I love the way that she but, works it. Like brushes but, it all out. But you kind of, like I, I didn't disagree with the horror because she said, it wasn't just like, I can't believe she's here. It was, okay, but Joe Black and Cherry Valentine <sighs> went yeah. home and she's still here. But I love, you know, I love Tia as, a comedian. I love Tia as like a, a character on character this show. On this show. Mm -hmm. She is stunning. I hope she listens to these those judges. Yes, mm -hmm. she especially could very Jordan. Be... She yeah, absolutely. She yeah. could very easily be like a, Naomi a Small. fashion, like fashion, fashion skinny yeah. bitch. But and it, yeah. right now, what we're saying right now, it's not. Yeah, it's not to the level that we would expect. Mm -hmm. But it's not to the level that I assumed. Joe Black and Jerry Valentine were. So that doesn't, that is a bit of a disconnect. Uh, they narrow it down all the bottoms and the bottom two are Tia Coffee yes. and Astina Mandela. Yes. Jenny Lemon barely scrapes by by the skin of her teeth. Mm -hmm. They were so impressed that Jenny Lemon completely changed who she was that they kept her as safe. <laughs> it's kind of on them too. They're kind of, well, we did tell you to do a little sexy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we yeah, did yeah, tell yeah. you to strap tits to your chest. Yeah. That's on us. So it's a lip sync between Astina and Tia Coffey. Astina starts off with a fan kick, yeah, yeah. the likes of which mm -hmm. she said, kick your face. Kick your face. She said, bah, this is what you're dealing with. So I'm like, okay, it's Astina's game. But then as it went on, did y'all feel the same? I was like, wait, I don't know whose this is because Tia was doing what you often talk about, which is kind of connecting with the judges and making them laugh. 
<laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Can I stay? You win. She was yes. giving comedy. She was giving you know, comedy. When in doubt, give give a little comedy and you know, I still don't completely agree. I don't think I would have sent Estina home over Tia, like based on the lip sync alone. Mm -hmm. But Estina, she said she was the lip sync assassin. Like she said, like I thought so don't too. Go, right? And then it was like what are you though? Like mm -hmm. it was good, but it wasn't like. Someone said on the internet that stop using the term assassin because to assassinate someone they should not see it coming. It's kind of like a reveal to them, like oh my god, wait, this person's oh. really good at lip syncing, and I did not expect it. That's how you assassinate. See, that's why they didn't. While Ronald Reagan didn't work out, because it was too obvious. Who were? Oh right. The person that. Tried to pull the gun. Yeah, that tried to. Stop by yeah. secret security. But then he eventually died from, from health complications. From being but very old. Now that's an assassin that you can't run from. Yeah, you can't run from your own from old. And right. I don't see that coming. I mean, I see it coming on some people, but I'm still young. Okay, I'm yes. youngish. No, no, no. The the <laughs> silence was misinforming. <laughs> I couldn't tell. It was going mm -hmm. back and forth for me. Oh yeah, no, it, there wasn't like a clear winner, but I was surprised at Estina's performance. Mm -hmm. I expected her to be flipping, pounding that pussy like nonstop, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I want to unify the girls who do drag for glamour and the girls who do it for comedy. I want them to get along. I don't want them to be like, well, she's a comedy queen and that, that's a clown. I'm like, a, I'm, I give glamour. Oh. I think the best drag is when you look hot, you're self-aware, you're nice. That's, nice. That's the best drag. I love and then a nice funny. drag queen. I love a nice drag queen. Mm -hmm. Do you know any? Shut your <laughs> Wow, you really went for it. Ah! I like your game. I like well, That's not what I sound like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a bit. Oh, okay. okay. It was bits. Uh, That's what the you know. Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Um, a bit, a bit much. I don't know. I just saw that. You're kind talking of about narrated. Like Jenny, like with her sexy. Yeah, and that yeah. it has to be some kind of like I have to be funny because I can't do sexy. You can do sexy. I think yeah. Naomi's funny. Well, Naomi's I think funny. I think detox is funny and sexy. Yes. Detox, Detox is, is a really funny. great drag queen. And oh. she's nice. And she's so nice. Yeah, fuck her. She has an indoor pool. I'm not gonna piss her off, because one day I'm gonna be swimming in Detox's basement pool. You have a pool here. She has an indoor always basement inside, pool. Always inside, always inside. I, different. yeah, when we were doing the drive-in, I kept mentioning her pool. <laughs> not in hopes, maybe. Uh -huh. Maybe in hopes that I would like, That's why you brought it up. Like, it's so cool that you have that pool in your house. You just That's don't crazy. bring up someone's amenities not okay. expecting that wagon. Wait, let's Veronica Green speak this into existence. Okay. IMHO, live, from Detox's basement pool. <laughs> Inner tubes and internet, the IMHO special, live, from Detox's basement pool. And only Wait. two survive. IMHO underwater. <gasps> we can be mermaids! We can be mermaids. <gasps> Actually, wet hair, yes. We could also drown. That would be a very dar Darby thing. I'm gonna just drown. I'm gonna drown now. <laughs> I did a shot. You just float in the background, you're cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the lip sync ends, mm -hmm. and to everyone's shock, RuPaul says, Tia Coffee, Shantae, you stay. And by everyone's shock, I mean Tia. Tia was like, yeah. What? what? Well, yeah, I think we all had that. When we saw them come together, it was like, oh, bye, Tia. Because Estina, yeah. she, she liked to talk about dancing. Damn. And she said, you should be scared of me. And then, oh. And you then know? you should be scared of yourself. Okay, the call's coming from inside your legs. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Be scared of yourself. She left so gracefully. She, she gave sure hugs. Mm -hmm. She said... Rude. Astina Mandela. I, I hate to see her go. I love to watch she her. She grabbed a badge on her way out, though. She had a, a win, so. Yeah. They gotta bring her back. They gotta bring her back. They gotta do That's something. That's a two. Oh, she, yeah. But, could but it, that we say that every week. We're on week three, and all three queens have been a shock. <sighs> a shock and a horror. A no, horror. a horror. A horror. A shock and a horror. <gasps> Well, I'm excited for next week because I cannot wait to see what other, like, what we assume to be front 
yeah. runners they send home. Don't touch our Scottish girls or we'll keep watching the show, honestly. Like, we can't stop. We have to know. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's, I want to yeah. know what's going to yeah, happen that's next. True. Like, what? Yeah. But, like, I'll watch it like this. Like, hey, Chan. Yes? You okay? Hmm. Yeah, it's been a pretty light, okay week. You know what they say. Ladies who lunch rarely need therapy, so she grabbed some lunch and it was it was a pretty good week. Mentally good. I feel healthy, yeah. Oh, fabulous. Darby? Mm-hmm. You okay? Mm. Yes. It's okay if you're not. No! <laughs> oh, stop it. Are you okay? Wait, no. I like six feet pebbles. <laughs> You're short circuiting. I'm getting giggly. You talk to her, but I'm getting giggly. <laughs> Alexis, are you okay? Alexis, you okay? I'm good. Thank you for asking. That's All it? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. And that's been you, what? That's been UK? And that's been Repulse Drag Race UK? UK. Yes, of course. Before we go, we just want to thank you so much for these oh, Venmo yes. tips for us. So that nice. Is truly, y'all's, it, it was nice. It was so nice. It's the motivation. Thank you so much, yeah. So we want to thank you right now, of course, in song. Our favorite British song. <laughs> I heard that. The came bubbly. All the way they up. were gathering at the bottom, and they finally was like, "Bitch, here we go." <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna sing that, of course, that British song about mm -hmm. what happened on that song. They did. They did a limbo about limboing. A five, six, seven, eight. How low can Is you go? How low steak? can you go? Steak? Go down below it's the bar. It's time to go. Um, I'm not doing no. that. Limbo. <laughs> Not that's the song, but that's oh, yeah, my yeah, yeah. the limbo. That's the, limbo, the traditional the ending. Yes. I don't know. We're back here. It's fine. I'll give it a try. Limbo bound with these hoes. Okay. Well, we are sorry for the for that, <laughs> but we thank you again for your donations. <laughs> also, we are still promoting because you know we don't want you to miss it, and it's going to be incredible. The Black Valentine Cabaret. Now that is for those of you who are new. Hello, welcome. It, I'm Darby. It's going to be all Valentine weekend long. The 12th, the 13th, and of course, the 14th. Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. So there's so many shows, so many incredible shows. Mm -hmm. Full uh, weekend's worth. Full weekend's. It's brought to you by the Chicago Black Drag Council. Oh. Yeah. Now, there are a lot of artists. Yes. So they have started to go fund me. Oh, good. So that we can, we can help these artists get paid. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course we want artists to get paid. Think about the Scottish. They only get 15 pounds mm. per show. Per show. Yeah. So take that 15 pounds. Convert it to U.S. dollars. Which Convert is it to dollars. Around four. So it's $48. Oh. Yeah, 3306 and, and I'd be damned if I worked at Mm-hmm. Cut that out. <laughs> so if you would like to give to their GoFundMe, you can do so with the link in the description box below. I did get your note that the link wasn't working this past weekend. I'm so sorry. And I Googled it and I figured it out. You have to www sometimes. Mm -hmm. If you would like more of the silliness, we had quite a busy week on Patreon this past week and we have a few more surprises coming up. So you can go to our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash IMH of the show. And then you can support these ladies mm -hmm. who are doing we're doing our best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Follow us on our social medias oh, yeah. where the content continues. Yeah. And if you haven't lately, just look in the mirror and say, you're hot. <gasps> That's nice. Yeah. Go. My sex therapist told me that I have to stand in the mirror every day and I have to look at myself naked and I have to say out loud at least one thing about my body that I like. What was today? My dick. <laughs> I was, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I went. Nice dick. <laughs> <laughs> On that oh. note, we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Red lobster. <laughs> hum. hum. Got that New England <laughs> breakfast down there. Are you ready? You ready to start the presents? JB and I are here because so many of you sent her some beautiful presents. We did not open them, even though she wanted to. We decided to wait until we got all the packages today. She's so excited she had to lay down.
We'll just start at the top, okay? Okay, let me open it. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's your favorite. It's your favorite look. <gasps> you got lambies. She has murdered so many lamb chops. The lady who did lamb chops is dead. I mean, she didn't do it, but she is dead. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <gasps> is that your dental? My dog passed away in August, so I don't get to buy him stuff anymore. So who better to give gifts to than JB, my favorite member of IMHO. I love you, JB, from Emily Willart. Will Ert, I'm saying it wrong, Emily, I'm sorry. And, oh, Ray, on Patreon, of course. Thank you so much. You have no idea. And it's specifically this size lamb chop. I don't know if it's because she wants to kill a baby and look, look what else you got. Oh my goodness. Are those some treats? Okay, ready? Okay, there you go. Well, don't run away. It's like she thinks I'm gonna take it from her and it's like, I've already had lamb horn marrow today, okay? I'm an adult. Oh my God, I'm in. These are not long for their, no, you're, you'll kill them. Okay, here we go. These would murder you. You would die. So don't do this. Oh, this entire box is filled with this. Fuck the turtles. <gasps> oh my gosh. It is a stink horn. It's your favorite stink horn. Riley sends his regards from Burwald. Burwald and Riley. Isn't that nice? So we call this the stink horn because I don't know if you've ever been around a dog who has eaten one of these horns, but it smells like a sour fart. Curtis hates it, but she, hours. She'll spend hours, hours. Thank you so much, Riley and Herwald. And she's gone. You wanna see what else you get first? JB, look. Oh my gosh, look what it is from Patrick. It's our precious Patrick. Patrick sent you this. You wanna see it? Here it is. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. She loves the toys where you can hide the other toy inside. And she, okay. So just so you know, these these will be murdered and she will do it. We got one more. Oh, you tried to get this one. You tried to get this one. Oh God, she's gonna get lost in this. Thank you so much, Patrick. This is perfect. You want to open your last present? Oh my god. Oh my god. She's so excited. And it's wrapped. Someone put it in a gift bag so you can open it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Happy Biden's America, JB, from Raphael. It's from Raphael. You know Raphael. You can't have it. It's another stink horn. Raphael, this is perfect. Okay. So these last for like. How long does it take you to go through one of these? Eight hours? She will spend literally all eight hours chewing on this. So this will be tomorrow's phone. No, you already have one, don't. Thank you so much, Raphael. Stinkhorn to her absolute favorite, and she's gonna be busy for days, thanks to you. Thank you so much. Wasn't that sweet? Wasn't that sweet? Here's your stinkhorn. Don't look at this one, this one is secret. All right, well, JB, we have to say thank you to everybody. Do you have any final words that you'd like to say? Well, thank you everyone so much. This has truly been such an incredible, incredible day for JP. She's gonna forget about it in three or four days. JP, you wanna say goodbye? Okay, goodbye.